Hey guys, I'm Jeff and you're watching Valley Fish. Uh, so, what this tank over here, the one that's super crystal clean, we did the polyfill filler in the hang on back. I'm gonna flip you over and show you how great a job it did. In three weeks time, I know four days ago I said in the last video I was gonna change it, I never did. But I'll flip you over and let you see it and I'll just talk about what I'm kind of thinking the future is in this tank, so. Uh, I'm so disgusted with myself. I didn't hit play and or record. I tried, but I failed. So what I'm doing on this, uh, this will be soon to be a 12, 10 gallon rack. I haven't brought the last tank over. It will be happen eventually. And then I'll have to quit explaining that. But I got a snail or two that's stuck on the end of the airline hose. And this tank has been mucky since I started pulling moss from it. I don't like it and there's some old fish in there and it's just super heavily stocked for a 10 gallon way overstocked so the water quality is not good in that tank and i've been thinking of how awesome in a cheap cheap tetra what is that pf10 i think it costs like 15 dollars or less filter and if you can find one used it probably work just as well but just jamming it with polyfill i got a huge old bag right there of polyfill i don't remember what that cost but not hardly anything and how well it cleaned this tank this tank is spotless with a whole bunch of plecos sand guppies loving that so my plan is because this filter is eating my scuds up i kind of want to keep them in that tank i'm gonna pull that filter now, long term, if I continue to do this, I'll let it dry out and sterilize it, maybe even freeze it before I switch tanks. But because I know this tank has absolutely no problems and this tank has absolutely no problems, I'm gonna kind of break my uh, quarantine methods that I do. I don't like double dipping, but I know this whole row, these two and this one over here is great. This one, started getting a little bacterial infection i think because i lost all the plants and the water went foul during the change but this one's good and this one's good and that one's good absolutely perfect so i'm gonna just switch it and i won't have any problem i know that so it helps when you watch your tanks every day for multiple times and know a whole bunch about them now there's tanks that are questionable but the switch was hard on a lot of these tanks. Like these guys, I don't think the older fish are transitioning well, and I know these aren't, because I'm losing the reds a lot in this tank for whatever reason. But the reds down here, all in the 75, and lost a one. Well, I did lose one, but he got stuck behind the sponge intake. But totally different issue. So, gonna move that over, and in a couple weeks, there'll probably be an update on how that worked out but it's kind of what i'm doing a little nice short video and uh there'll probably be a lot of these because i'm always got something going on all right well the girls are here and they're jacked about getting glasses but for the media nastiness because it is it does feel nasty i've been using this little bucket and that's all i ever use it for there's one sponge filter in there and the media from the last time so a bunch of grossness but now it's flowing good. I'm gonna shut it off and I'll stuff it full and transition it over. All right, at this point, I just had to say hi to Bum Bum because he's being an awful sweetie. He says, I am a pretty nice sweetie bunny rabbit. I love this bunny rabbit. This is a good girl. So I am a good girl. So I'm excited to play on your new couch. I might jump up there. So she loves jumping up on this ledge here. But currently got it blocked with a new sofa. Love that thing. So shout out to the girlfriend for finding that because that is awesome. Because right now you go to the uh, furniture store and you can't get a couch for 12 months at best. And this thing was still new with the tags on it. And 700 bucks, that's pretty sweet. Jacked about that. Love that right behind my staircase. Was well, thinking TV there. Oh, sidetrack. Gonna have to put it over here. And then as you sit back, you'll see the fish room as it makes. It's a little noisy now because the 75 is super low. I did lose one angelfish. I think it was due to fighting. I hate that, but 
think you're gonna get that as they pair off. I've never grown up so many before picking pairs, but oh, this rack, I cannot wait till it's painted. It is coat after coat after coat, and I'm still finding bare spots. So I've kind of been tackling it as like one row at a time, two rows. And I get to here and I'm like, oh, first coat, first coat. So I'm getting there. Weekend goals. I said that for two weekends. I keep painting it though. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the uh, quick little update on what I got going on. Uh, one tank at a time. Kind of going to be the theme for a little bit until we get all the other, all the way around there. So, short little videos. Hope you enjoy. Uh, like and do all the YouTube things. So, I appreciate that. First time I got a uh, fry out of this tank of the full res. Been jumping a bunch of moss in there. So, I'm excited to see that. That, uh, the pilo moss I got from MarkShellyAquatics.com is really working out really well for me. Um, I'll give him a plug. I'll switch it over and show you, and then I'll let you guys go. So stay tuned for that. These guys have had for a super long time, and they had those uh, external parasites, unfortunately, when I got new plants. But I got them all treated up, and I haven't seen the problem for a, for over a year. So safe to say they're clean. I'm always going to be hesitant, but... As long as they're breeding, and if I can get a couple generations in this tank, I'll let them keep going. Uh, this is basically my full red line, but does throw the occasional albino uh, if I could find one. And, uh, I don't know, I kind of like them. Kind of oranges, cool. I don't know, keep this 10 little gallon happy. Gives me something to look at every day, but... Get your uh, pile of moss from MarkShellyAquatics.com. He's got a bunch. And uh, I think it's fairly reasonable. So get it before he sold out. Later, guys.